What's up guys, I keep coming back with a brand new NASCAR Heat 3 video and today guys we have the Dirt Series roster to show you guys. But as usual, before we get into the video, shout out to my members, some NASCAR fan 9, Fiasco, Melsky Sharks Gaming, Cleveland Ethan, Jimmy, Baseball Guy 01, and Levi Jones. Links to their channels will be in the description below. And also thank you to the donators who donated in my previous stream. JJ Fan, 4858, Dale Reynolds, and SSG. Links to their channels will also be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So today guys, we were able to crack down on the Dirt Series roster. So if you guys don't know, we're only allowed to race with 24 drivers in a field in the Dirt Series. So I found out and I did my research and I looked through everything that we have and I was able to find the 24 drivers that will be in the Dirt Series that you could race with in NASCAR Heat Seat 3. So we're gonna get through that real quick and then we're gonna talk about it right after I talk about the full roster in NASCAR Heat 3 for the Dirt Series, so let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to let you guys know, I'm going to say the driver number and then the driver's name, and also I'm really bad with names, so if I do pronounce some names wrong, I am so sorry. It happens, I'm really bad with names, so let's get started. So without further ado, let's get started. We got the 20 of Michelle Baker Dillon, the 22 of Anthony DeFazo, the 38 of Brady Lewis, the 3 of Lauren Sheridan, the 33 of Brady Davidson. Following that up, we have the 17 of Dan Goodman, the 43 of Daniel Britton, the 27 of CJ Boschwell, the 98 of Evan Rather, and the 99 of Eli Lipson. After that, we have the 77 of Todd Leeger, the 37 of Elliot Henderson, the 23 of Scott Haig, the 12 of Sean Wilson, and the 04 of Casey Brooks. Following up, we have the 7 of Kishore Goli, the 11 of Avery Scott, the 4 of Evan Brown, the 76 of Ryan Glovaca, the 07 of Hugh Acronym. And to round it all up, we have the double zero of Nick Rend, the 36 of Brian McCabe, and the 64 of Jay Martin. And to end it all, we got the 2 of John Schneider. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be your Dirt Series roster for NASCAR Heat 3. 24 drivers for your roster and there'll be 24 drivers in the field which will be pretty cool let's break it down for you guys so if you guys don't understand these are obviously fantasy drivers and these aren't just like any drivers that they just found off the street or just came up with random names about these drivers i believe also work for 704 and for that other company that is actually helping out with the dirt series it's like something motorsport i totally forgot about the name but they're pretty much the employees that are making the game. They will be the drivers. As you guys can see, we all thought Ed Martin will be in the game. We're wrong about that. It'll be Jay Martin. As usual, we saw Sean Wilson. Sean Wilson, we all know, works for 704. Is pretty much, I don't, I don't know if he's the head, but he's really high up there for 704 with creating NASCAR Heat 3. I made a video back about Elliot Henderson possibly being in the game, most likely, because Elliot Henderson, because of the EHG, on the car for that I said he's most likely gonna be sponsoring and driving that number 37 car I was right right about that so I, I think I think the roster is pretty cool 24 drivers but I believe we get to also run with this in multiplayer so that'll be also very cool to do now personally I wish we could see real dirt late model drivers in the game but obviously due to licensing issues we cannot do that but it's still pretty cool the dirt late models look pretty cool to be honest I'm just happy also that we do have the dirt series in a NASCAR game back to where it was before this is like people are saying this is like the dirt to daytona 2 in my opinion it's more than dirt to daytona 2 because we could do so much more so nascar heat 3 with the dirt series is gonna be really cool and to be honest it's just all positives around the board for this dirt series this was a great idea to bring back the dirt series because dirt to daytona it had the dirt series and now nascar heat 3 will also have the dirt series so yeah i want to hear your guys' opinions about the dirt series it looks pretty cool the cars look pretty cool um, some of them look pretty plain. It looks like they didn't really do that good on some of the plain ones. But some of them, like the 12 car, I believe, is going to be the one with the flames. It looks like the 2 car was kind of like the wave, but it looks like the flames. So, yeah. Another thing I did notice was Sean Wilson. That was not his actual picture. So, I don't know if these are actual pictures of these guys or not. Because Sean Wilson is not looking like he's 12 years old. Sean Wilson, as you guys know in the video I put back before the video before this Sean Wilson is older than like 21 and that kid looked 21 in the photo and also I just realized that the reason why it might not be really Sean Wilson's photo is because the theme for the dirt series could be young drivers moving up and getting to the cup rides and it looks like they were targeting 
young drivers as you guys look in all the photos all of them look pretty young sean wilson sean wilson's not like 21 22 23 sean wilson i believe is i don't know. i don't want to say how old he is just in case he's watching this video so i don't even know to be honest but sean wilson isn't like that young and it looks like they were targeting the younger drivers that are trying to work their way up through the truck series xfinity series and the cup series and you pretty much in career mode while you're gonna be driving against all these young drivers trying to get a spot into the truck series the xfinity series and the cup series so yeah that's pretty cool so some of these drivers it looks to be why they're not their actual photo like for instance we all thought it was me ed martin gonna be driving but it looks like it was j martin i don't know if j martin's an actual person or not it could be a son could be someone he knows like personally or just use his name just put martin at the end because ed martin is also not very young also so just letting you guys know so since we're on the talk about dirt and since we have gained a lot more subscribers since I uploaded that dirt series video a while back, pretty much you guys already know by now that we are going to have also the dirt series. Like some of these tracks are real tracks, just put dirt down just like at Bristol and I believe Richmond. Those are the two tracks that will be real life tracks just with dirt on them. And I believe Texas, Las Vegas, Eldora will be another part of the tracks. Those are like real world tracks. And then we have some fantasy tracks like the dirt road course and i don't know how this is going to work to be honest in my opinion because i believe dirt lane models are meant to go left only so it's gonna be cool to go check this thing out how it's going to work because obviously they're going to tune it up a little bit to make it obviously go left and right and apparently it looks like there are now road course dirt cars that we're going to be able to tune up so that's another thing that we have in the game because you there's going to be different types of dirt cars that we're going to, be able to use we'll be able to get to use the short track i believe just a regular one and then we're going to have the road course dirt like car so that's something new in the game looks pretty cool uh i guess like i hopefully they like change it up a little bit like when you tune it like maybe the front end will be a little lower on the short track so because you already know you're going to be turning left automatically anyways and on the road course it'll be like probably up a little bit so you go left and right just something cool i hopefully it's like something a visual that will change about that because you guys know in asker 82 drop the cars low low to the ground nothing really changes the only thing that changes is really the tires bent in more or bent out more and pretty much when you wreck, you bump up a little bit and you jump a little bit, for instance, at Michigan. So hopefully there's a new visual there. And thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys all for 4,000 subscribers. Thank you guys all so much. It really means a lot to me. We got 4,000 subscribers. And now, just letting you guys know, we went from 3,000 to 4,000 in one month. And we went from 2,000 to 3,000 in one month. So hopefully we can go from 4,000 to 5,000 in one month thank you guys all for watching also if you guys want to buy some merch or just look at it shop.spreadshirt.com backslash idk player if you guys want to be shouted out in my videos remember you guys have to be, be a member by hitting the join button on the youtube gaming app or on the youtube desktop or donate during my live streams to be shouted out and thank you guys all for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smack the like button comment down below your opinions about nascar 3 and all the nascar stuff and don't forget to subscribe for more NASCAR 3 news, guys. NASCAR 3 releases September 7th. And trust me, that day at like 3 in the morning, a bunch of videos are going to be released. We're going to try to upload at least, at least 7 videos for you guys covering everything that you guys want to know. Sadly, I'm not getting flown out early, so we're going to have to play some catch-up games on that. We're going to be doing a lot of videos from crash compilations. There's probably going to be a speed glitch that we're probably going to upload a video about. Probably start the first part of career mode and probably never touch it again. Me doing a lot a lot of stuff on release day and pretty much for that weekend because i know not everyone can get nascar heat 3 on release day so that's gonna be pretty cool remember also there's a fake idk player on the psn so just letting you guys know if i wreck you on purpose don't go messaging me and start like screaming bloody murder because it is not me if i wreck you on purpose aka stopping on the track and going up the track to wreck you that is not me that is the fake idk player so just letting you guys know remember nascar heat 3 a lot of videos gonna be coming out so make sure you guys are subscribed for more content so we can get as much content we can out, out for you guys as possible so it's gonna be uploaded at like three in the morning i know everyone has school because it releases on a friday so when you guys wake up the next morning huge amount of nascar heat 3 videos will be released for you guys so you guys can watch it like before like you go to school or during lunch or anything like that. It's going to be a bunch of NASCAR E3 videos. Sadly, I won't be live streaming due to the fact we are not allowed to pre-order NASCAR E3 on the PS4. There was a video about that a while back if you guys want to go check it out. And also, don't forget to check out the last video I did make about pretty much everything that's going to be coming to NASCAR E3 that is new. Also, remember, tomorrow we're going to be uploading the Cup Series roster for NASCAR E3. So also stay tuned to that. That's going to be really cool. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy your day. I'm starting school Monday. 
Uh, you guys, some of you guys already started schools. That's why I know views are low a little bit. But thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. IDK out.